Okay, there was two things that I, as I was mentioning, the, the morning was reasonably chaotic, sort of an environment I thrive in. Um, and there were two things that I started and, but didn't finish that I want to finish, at least two that I can think of. One was uh, I started to talk about most of you are away from home and the, the, a lot of the changes you want to make in terms of the quality of your own existence is connected with where you came from. The people, the context, the job, whatever. And um, so what I, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to give you a, a, a little moment here, uh, to write down a half a dozen things you want to change. Here's the, here's the conscious participation. A half a dozen things that you want to be different in terms of choice and quality in your life. I would recommend, if, in so far as it's, you're capable of doing this, that you describe the context in which it typically occurs. Remember the flip chart, the projection onto the screen here. Discover the context in which the thing that the client wishes to change occurs. So, and I, and if I start, this is where I interrupt myself. In an ideal world, that's where I interrupted it then, because I think that's a ridiculous statement. <laughs> in an ideal world, um, you would go through and experience uh, uh, any, anything that we did up here, the stuff you're going to do this afternoon. And at the end of it, you will have imported, integrated, assimilated a new state into a context where you want a difference. So that as you, as you walk into the state, that state is now connected to, assimilated into, triggered by everything you saw and heard in that context. It doesn't mean you know what you're going to do. It just means when you hit those triggers, when you walk into that context, bam, you're back in the state that you achieved that you uh, had help with up here earlier today. So your behavior will keep evolving. You will, even if everything, quote, is the same as far as you can tell consciously, there will be subtle nuances of difference that will tease out and pull from you, your unconscious, different behaviors each time you enter the same context. It's never the same. That's the point. So that's, and the ideal is that she'll forget all about everything that happened this morning, and she'll walk into the context, or by telephone, or however the next contact with mom is, and, just, and she won't, won't consciously recognize she's entering the context. But after the experience, when it's naturally terminated, she breaks contact, breaks contact, she'll go, what just happened? That is, there was no need for her to consciously either understand or remember to be different. Because we hooked up a new state with a bunch of things she saw and heard, which defined the context in which she wants the differences. I couldn't stop crying. You couldn't stop crying. Yeah. Okay, so now all of this is a preamble to say when you're making this half a, a list of a half a dozen things you want to change, pick things that are going to reoccur in this context so you can test to make sure there is this automatic re-triggering of entry into the state that was used in the change process automatically without the need to remember consciously what happened or what choices there are pop. You suddenly are behaving differently and the quality uh, is very high and, the, and you're happy with the choices. That, and they keep changing. So it's, it's generative in the strict sense of the word generative. It keeps evolving itself. It's a self-evolving system. So when you're making your list, keep that in mind as a criteria consciously to make, to make sure that you do pick things that will automatically reoccur here so you can discover whether, in fact, the whole system that we're presenting that you're, you're working on actually happens. So when you get back to where you came from and you want to make changes in relationships and job, whatever, that you already have the confidence from these experiences that if you do the same thing there that you did here, pop, it's yours, belongs to you. Any questions about